This is my simple all-core overclock for my Ryzen 9 5900X. I'm using an X470 Prime Pro motherboard from ASUS. And you can see right there I'm using version 58. And you can see to the top left, I have a frequency set at 4650 megahertz. And my RAM right there is at 3600 megahertz. But this is really simple. We're just going to click on F7. We're going to go up here to AI Tweaker. And right there on the CPU core ratio, all I did was type in 46.50. And if we scroll down a little bit, we're going to get to the voltage right here. We changed that to manual and I put in 1.23750. And that is my simple all core overclock voltage and frequency. We're going to get out of the BIOS and I'll show you a few things. And as far as Cinevich 23, we're getting ready to finish up a, a run here and we'll see what our score comes to. I've heard anywhere between 22 and 23,000 is right on par. So let's see what we got. And you can see right there we have 23,000. 502. Again, so not too shabby on the 4.650 gigahertz at only 1.23 volts. And then on another secondary run, you can see we did even better at 23,634. And is this frequency on this voltage stable? Well, I did do the 30 minute testability here on the Cinebench 23 program. It went through just fine for all 30 minutes. And the coolest thing about this is that I am on air cooling. And there, right there, you can see the voltage at 1.238. And then right here, you can see the current CPU temperature at 55 degrees. Well, I'm using the recording software, but my idle temps have been the high 30s and the maximum during a Cinebench run about 80 degrees Celsius. And again, I am air cooling. So whether I'm doing some gaming or some content creation, you know, some video editing or just surfing the web, the Ryzen 9 5900X with what I call my simple all-core overclock works for me. Thanks for watching, folks.